This is weird. Let's jump back a few hours. We'd spent several days in Monterey, California, and we're starting to get sick of the city life. So we decided to drive to Yosemite, pretty much on a whim. We woke up, did some laundry, Alexa's juggling wool dryer balls there. We saw some seals, then hit the road. We're driving to Yosemite right now. It's great, it's a rainy day. We're currently parked. I'm driving as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> we're at a gas station. Um, we got some Kringle. Delicious, healthy road snack. Oh, so good. My hands Can't are wait. shaky, I think I had too much coffee. <laughs> too much coffee, you're gonna about to have a sugar overload too. Anyway, just wanna check in, say hey. Um, we're gonna film the Yosemite vlog tomorrow. This the is vlog. a long vlog, the Yosemite vlog tomorrow. Our fun, spontaneous day turned into a bit of a disaster when we hit a Minnesota-level snowstorm halfway to Yosemite. Around that time, we realized our water tank was almost empty, so we had to make a pit stop to fill up at a gas station. Then we found out that our propane tank was almost empty. One of those days. Another hour of navigating the snow, and we were finally outside of Yosemite National Park. We lucked out and found a nice big pull-off just outside of the park that had just recently been plowed. Being Minnesotan, we were not phased in the slightest. We took advantage of the snow by going for a nice walk, throwing some snowballs at each other. It's snowing again. We're gonna risk it at this pull-off right before, uh, right outside of Yosemite. So, we have a cozy night, maybe get snowed in. See what happens, right? We woke up to the sun shining and a beautiful blanket of snow. We were so excited to get to Yosemite, but first, of course, coffee. We are right outside of the park, and so we're gonna head in and we're gonna go straight to Mist Trail, which is supposedly a really beautiful hike and a highly rated trail to check out. So we're gonna start there. The drive into the park was so lovely. It snowed on and off a little bit, but like David said, we're hardy Minnesotans, so it didn't phase us. We'll let the footage speak for itself. A short walk from the parking lot brought us to the trailhead. As the name implies, Mist Trail was super misty. The added effect of waterfalls, melting snow, and running rivers made for a super spectacular scenery. The start of the hike was nice and sunny, but as we climbed higher, we ran into lots of snow and ice. Eventually, it got to the point where we could no longer continue because of the footwear we had on. We did a little photo shoot at our self-proclaimed peak and then enjoyed the hike back down. Wow. Making our way through the snow was a little slow, but once we cleared that, it was pretty easy from there on out. felt like no time, we were back at the van and ready to go. 
Although we had quite the drive ahead of us, we decided to take our time so we could take in a few more views, look for wildlife, and so on. And we got lucky. I mean, look at this guy. We found this coyote walking alongside the car, and he stayed there for a while. soaked in these spectacular views on our way out of the park. We decided to take a little pit stop in one of the pull-off areas to enjoy one last look at the valley. As the sun set, the fog rolled in and made for kind of a scary drive. Um, it was hard to see, but luckily we made it to our destination safely. We decided to settle in early because the next morning we had a very long drive to San Francisco. After several hours in the car, we were eager to stretch our legs. We decided to go for a run along the coast. It looked like rain, but we gave it a shot anyway and made it all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge, which isn't saying much because we were probably only a couple miles away. Morning run brought us to the Golden Gate Bridge. Woo. We took our time looking at the bridge and we even saw some more seals. Yeah. We're just a seal magnet apparently. Our run back to the van was scattered with critters and a lot of rain. The rain made for a really cozy day of working on projects in the van. To end the day, we found a spot to stay overnight that was actually right in front of the beach, so hard to beat that view. Pacifica and it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful and so we're excited to wake up and go for a walk on the beach and grab some coffee and just have a good day. We settled in for the night so excited to fall asleep to the sound of the waves and to wake up to the sound of the waves. Couldn't ask for a better way to start our stay in San Francisco. We'll see you next week.